How are we doing? How are we doing? You having a good night? Great. Where are you, where are you from, sir? You're right there. Just step up you from, the, from Ottawa? Yeah. How is that funny? He's from Ottawa. Okay. Oh, what part of the city are you from? Uh, South Keys. South Keys. Uh, anyone want to? Anyone want to guess where I'm from? Anybody? Show of hands. I live in Ottawa, folks. Gonna narrow it down a bit. Center town. Fuck you. I live in Vanier. <laughs> I know, I know, you're looking at me too and you're like, clearly not enough crystal math. <laughs> and yeah, why would a handsome, handsome gentleman like me be living in that filthy fucking shithole? Quest well, the <laughs> answer is very simple. Every time I look out the window, I feel better about myself. <laughs> uh, look, you never look bad when you live there, I'm just saying. You know? So, uh, let's talk about me. Uh, I was reading my horoscope the other day. It said, uh, you're constantly bombarded by questions that are unimportant. You don't have to answer them. Great advice, except for when you take into consideration what I do for a living. I work in a call center for the government. <laughs> well, why do you owe the federal government 12 grand? Well, the answer to that is unimportant. Please hang up and try your call again. You might get a Scorpio out here. They're full of great answers today. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of friends who fall for those internet scams, you know, the Nigerian money scam, the get a free iPad scam, and, you know, I'm constantly pointing out that they're going to do something fucking stupid, and they're like, oh my god, how'd you do that? Well, here's a little, here's a little hint. Here, I come from uh, 13 years of experience on the internet, I've seen it all, and, you know, my friends are absolutely amazed by this, until I tell them that, you know, while they were learning street smarts, I was on my computer. So while I could sniff a money scam a mile away, it just takes one stranger in a van offering me candy and I'm a fucking shallow ditch on the side of the highway. <laughs> I'm fucking doomed. That's over, man. I don't, you people are sick. Jesus. Um, a little bit about, uh, anyone uh, follow celebrity gossip at all? Anybody? How about that Justin Bieber, huh? Hot. <laughs> Pedophile? <laughs> Jeez, no, it's like his uh, current, current uh, scandal, you know. Apparently he's knocked a girl up, he denies everything. Two, two words, Justin. I'm gay. Problem solved. Problem solved. Not that funny, that's okay. So we're going to move along. He starts doing uh, product placement, and like he's, he's doing his own line of fragrances. That's exactly what somebody wants to spend money on, something that makes you smell like a teenage boy. That's really, yeah. Um, personally, me, myself, uh, the only product I want to buy with that kid's face on it is a milk carton. <laughs> I know, I know, a little subtle, a little subtle. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say here, folks, is... The that I, what I'm trying to say, sir, give me a moment. Uh, get into the funny here. Is that... You know, the fact that Justin Bieber isn't dead makes me wish Michael Jackson was still alive. Because yeah. yeah. I'm sure they would make beautiful music together. Oh, yeah. So I'm single. No idea why. But uh, I'm kind of, you know, internet dating. Anyone here internet dating? Anybody show of hands? By applause? Anybody? Fuck, man. I hate you all. Um... <laughs> So, uh, the thing I, I find interesting is, like, all these women now, they've become so jaded, they have a laundry list of, like, demands that you must meet before you message them. Always wear a shirt, don't be in front of a car, don't show your muscles, don't do this. And, you know, it doesn't matter what I do, man. In my picture, I'm in a fucking parka by the bus stop, juggling my diploma, my proof of employment, my clean STD test, I had testimonials from my parents, friends, family. Fucking Winston Churchill, he came back from the grave to give me a high accolade, and you still will not message me back. Why, man? You're breaking my fucking heart. Um... Yeah, um, you know, and, and it's like, well, my friends say, well, stop going to the free sites, start going to the pay ones. And that doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, why am I going to pay for a date I'll never have? That's paying for a, pro that's like paying for a prostitute not getting a blowjob. It just does not compute. I'm sorry. And that one just went over. That's great. No blowjob jokes for this audience. Okay. Um, you know, and the thing, 
You know, it's not just the dating sites that piss me off. It's the weird, creepy fucking porn that's out there. And they have, like, attractive women doing it, too. You ever notice that? You seen that website, Monsters of Cock? You seen that? There's big, massive fucking penises like this. They're monsters of cock. And the girls that they photograph with these things are scared out of their mind. And I'm like, if you're so frightened by this, why the hell did you show up the photo shoot with a tape measure? But, you know, they sell those sites wrong. I'm going to end on this one, folks. Uh, you know, they, they sell it wrong. And, you know, monsters of cock, you should be selling what, you, what you're offering, and that's cock. And they should do that like 80s monster truck commercials. Remember those? Remember those? Yeah. Sunday, 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 106.9, the beer in Scotiabank Place presents Monsters of Cock Madness. Yes, yeah, see these pulse-pounding, throbbing engines of destruction. See the amazing octocock go head-to-head -head against the farm hammer. See the 20-foot-tall 20 20 cock gobbler. Three-face painting and balloons for the kids. So